the high seas, high seas. Cast my line, now they're biting. Rocky coast and lighthouses, what she knows now I doubt it. Talk to me nice. I think your confusion starts with street lights. Hi Leo, welcome to your June 2019 reading with me guys. So this month I wanted to add a couple of oracle cards. Um, I have the, my Indigo Angel deck, which I use to represent light energy. I love using these two decks. We're in Gemini season this month. We're heading into Cancer season at the end of the month. And Gemini energy always brings up, you know, dual energy, light and dark, masculine, feminine. So I, I do do this. I do this every every year. We've got the light and the dark. What we know, Leo, we're going to pull you card from this. This is what you know. This is um, what you have semi-awareness of. But then we want to keep it balanced, and we're going to pull an oracle card to symbolize something that you don't know, something that is going on beneath the, the scenes under the surface, okay? So we got the light and the dark. We're going to start there, and then after we get your oracle, we're going to read from the book that these cards came with, and then we'll get started on um, the actual month of June. We'll talk a little bit about any astrology that may or may not come up for you guys. So let's start here with the Indigo Angel deck. This is actually a card that reminds me of Leo in this deck. So it's interesting that I would open up to that card. It reminds me a lot of the Strength card. So what is the message for Leo in June 2019? Give me a message for Leo. Wow, okay. You have one of the most powerful cards um, coming out, the Mother Mary. So I don't know if there's anybody named Mary that's important here or if, if it's a mother energy. You may be a mother, Leo. Or your mom's energies are coming up here. This is the queen of all angels. And the bottom of the deck is ask for a sign. Alright. So you guys may already know a little bit about that kind of energy. This is symbolic for what you're aware of. And now we're going to get a card for what's going on under the surface. Something that you may or may not know. The seen and the unseen basically is what I consider the light and the dark to be. So let's see what's going on for Leo. Please give me a card for Leo for June. Okay. Interesting. Underlying energy is the moon. Strong Pisces energy, Cancer, um, the shadow side. You have a moon sign, Leo. So if you know your moon sign, okay, that might be important. We have the moon and ask for a sign. And beneath the moon, Leo, we did have the high priestess of fire, which is my strong Leo energy. Someone here may have a Leo moon. Okay. So we have your light and your dark here, Leo, Mother Mary, and Rigid. Now, I just want to say some of you guys, because this is my mother card. It's it's a very card for, for strong mother energy. Some of you guys may be dealing with rigid mothers, or maybe you yourself as a mother being sort of rigid, Leo. Because the rigid card is about a wall that you've built up. So I don't know if there's, some of you guys may have challenging relationships with your moms or something like that. I'm just kind of seeing that. Um, I'm sure there's other meanings here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this Mother Mary. Now, for those of you who are religious, okay, you know the Mother Mary is Jesus' earthly mother. She's the one who, this is the Virgin Mary energy. Strong Virgo energy here as well with Mother Mary for me. And this is on page 32. So let's just see here what this Queen of Angels has to say so known as the queen of angels mother mary is the embodiment of unconditional love and compassion this card calls for you to look at the people in your life as well as yourself with the same love mother mary can help you embrace your gifts and talents and honor yourself in every moment sometimes called the divine nurturer she reminds you to be proud of how far you've come in this lifetime and she encourages you to keep moving forward Mother Mary protects, guides, and supports all children, indigo children as well. She also helps you to help other children. Call upon Mother Mary to open your heart and make, make you aware of what blessing you are on this planet. So this is an unconditional love vibration, which I feel is very important to Leo because Leo is ruled by the heart. And it also mentioned something here about ch helping children, supporting all children. So I don't know if there's some parents out there, Leo, but you know, Leo, you guys are the children of the Zodiac. Leos are the children. You guys are the divine children of the Zodiac. And um, 
ruled by you're ruled by the sun so you have that very youthful young energy i know very old leos who are their spirit is so young all right it's very very rare for a leo to actually give off an old boring vibe like you guys all are very very youthful and childlike at heart so this could be talking about any of that protection guidance support especially when it comes to children because this is a very mothering unconditional love vibration the divine nurturer is what sometimes the mother mary is called so interesting we've got we've got some unconditional energy coming up there i'm gonna put mother mary right here beautiful card and then we have rigid which is quite a different vibration okay let's see what page rigid is on and then we'll just read from it so i'm telling you some of you guys might be feeling a little bit rigid when it comes to unconditional love you may have a wall built up against unconditional love which is concerning be very mindful of that and reflect on that in your own life okay for those of that who resonates with that rigid 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 this is on page 86 all right okay so is there a stone wall that stands between you and others leo could that wall be inside you now is the time to become more flexible and to drop your rig your rigid expectations of yourself especially of others don't be afraid to drop your guard a little too if you are willing to let others in you will see a benefit in these connections Another meaning here is that you recognize the wall that others may have built up. Don't take it personally if you if they won't let you in. This is their way of coping and it has little to do with you. So yeah, straight up, somebody here is actually, they have a wall built up against unconditional love or a mother. There just might be some mother stuff going on here. Like I, I feel an energy where there's a child and a mother's trying to protect the child. And so you build this, build this wall up. It might be, I'm picking up on a kind of a baby father energy. So you guys got to connect the dots for yourself. But, you know, to pull these two cards here for the light and the dark, there's something you know about unconditional love. There's, there's something you're aware of. There's something you're aware of about mother energy, unconditional love, nurturing energy. What's going on under the surface, though, is rigidness. Okay? Walls that have been built up. Um... You know, you're definitely needing to be a bit more flexible, Leo, when it comes to your expectations of yourself, okay? And it's talking about not being afraid to let your guard down, you know what I'm saying, to let people in. Because there are connections in June that are linked to this unconditional love. So that's entirely up to you guys. But that's what we have as far as the Oracle. Let's go ahead and shuffle a bit more for Leo for June 2019 what's going on for Leo for June Leo energy June so some of you are dealing with an Aries I see the Emperor here or you know it's interesting that your mother's coming up because we also have the father now some of you may have an Aries mother or an Aries father but this is the father showing up here and we have the mother so your parents or maybe you guys are mothers and have fathers to your children or vice versa so very parental energy here what's going on for leo for the month of june 2019 give me one card to represent the first week of june it's the first week energy now that is way too many okay some of you guys are hanging on to a sagittarius <laughs> that left um you got there's also earth energy here we got taurus okay there's some kind of commitment there but that was way too many guys just give me one card spirit to represent the first week of june for leo it's one card to represent the first week we have the ten of wands to start off the month of June. So this tells me that some of you guys entered June feeling quite burdened, heaviness, responsibility, but also working really hard. Now you're starting the month off with a 10. So this is like having your mind on certain completions that need to, you know, be wrapped up, cycles that are over. And this has something to do with financial balance probably. Maybe an earth sign, maybe a, a Libra, maybe a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This might be burdens linked to financial balance, 
okay we do have the wheel of fortune here though so this is what's changing financial there's some changes going on when it comes to what you're giving and what you're taking leo whatever that means it's linked to your destiny it might involve a sagittarius but yeah the first week of june which has already passed i'm recording this the second week of june so you guys have already felt these burdens coming into june now this is the let go of the burden card though so you guys could be doing some releasing in that manner as well in order maybe this is a burden that you're releasing in order to be more financially balanced so maybe leaving a certain job or something what's the second week of june for leo give me one card to represent the second week of june yeah this is similar to the gemini message i believe the eight of pentacles came out for no cancer actually yeah this is similar to the cancer message you are also dealing with heaviness at work you may work with a cancer okay because there's some heavy this is like hard work both of these cards are people who are working really hard the ten of wands is a burden and we'll talk about the ten of wands here in a moment this is definitely changing for you though leo there's some kind of transformation that i feel is significant now we have the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck here for the second week so there might be an underlying energy here of uh you know insomnia some of you guys are working so hard and carrying so much the first two weeks of june that you're actually losing sleep like there may be some insomnia there may be like you may n literally not be getting enough rest because you're just pretty much always at work because this is anxiety this is like negative thoughts some of you guys may have negative thoughts about the, the work what you do to make money or something like that i just think this is this burden financially is causing a bit of anxiety for some of you guys to where you may be waking up in the middle of sleep with anxious thoughts or something um you know this may this may even have to do with a missed opportunity um something that tried to come into you but maybe it didn't look exactly like what you what you've been expecting so there may have been a missed opportunity that is linked to this anxiety that could also be about love too Let's see the third week of June for Leo. Give me one card to represent the third week of June 2019 for Leo energy. Wow, we have the lovers here. Gemini. Gemini is important to you. Now, we are in Gemini season right now, but this is the third week of June. And by the third week of June, this is a very important week because we're going to have a full moon, we're going to have the summer solstice, and we're going to have cancer season all start here. So keep in mind that there's just a lot going on the third week of June. And it's interesting, this is this is when Gemini season is over. But you're getting a specific Gemini energy for the third week, even though we'll get, we're going to be moving into Cancer season. So please keep your eye out for any Gemini energy in your birth chart or any Gemini people coming up for the third week. Because they are showing up quite literally. But this is also about some kind of relationship, Leo. Okay, now this is looking like um, burdens financially because someone's at a distance from someone who financially supports them. Somebody may work at a distance here. Um, we'll talk about this here in a minute, but we do have the Ten of Swords to tell me more about this lover. So I don't know if there's some kind of ending. You know, you, you had the Ten of Wands, now you're getting the Ten of Swords. So there, there may be certain endings in relationships or romantic connections. Some of you may have to choose between two people, which obviously means one of those people, you know, you have to end things with. Because there, there is an ending here. This might be a breakup for some of you guys, especially if you're dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or again, it's a financial separation. This is about you being stable, but I do feel like there's some walking away um, from a Sagittarius, from money, from something you've been hanging on to. Okay, interesting, Leo. Very, very interesting. Let's get the last week of june what is the fourth and final week of june for leo give me one card to represent their last week of june 2019 and we have the page of swords coming out and that looked like it reversed itself to me so page of swords in reverse apparently coming out and you know some of you guys are going to feel quite confused um about one of these options ending because there's a lot of options here and in june some of these options that you've had are ending they may be love options they may be options of job or just options okay all these cups are filled with different stuff and this is the card of fantasy but it's like there is some kind of ending there's a confusing ending here bottom of your deck for your whole reading is the seven of cups so confusion being overwhelmed emotionally in june having a lot of options in june which may or may not be confusing you at an emotional level 
this is the dream realm so some of you guys could be having dreams about this but let's just start start at the the top okay we'll talk a little bit about how you entered the month of june and apparently you entered this month with a lot on your back a lot on your shoulders feeling burdened by certain people places and things i think all of you have different burdens at this point but um you know the first week of june was about dropping that so if there was anything that ended in your life in the first week of june please know that it was probably linked to this heavy weight it was probably linked to something that was burdening you it was something you were responsible for that nece wasn't necessarily your responsibility like i always say are all these wands when i when i get this card for people in tarot i'm always like is this are you sure all this belongs to you because that's a hell of a lot of weight for just one person to be carrying it's so like this person is doing the work of three people sometimes leo that's not a bad thing sometimes somebody is just trying to get the job done and i always i always think about when when you get home from grocery shopping and how you have all these grocery bags and the ten of wands is the type of person who's going to carry all the grocery bags like i'm telling you like the arms are going to have at least 10 grocery bags each so i don't know if you're just carrying all this weight at the beginning of june so that you can just kind of get it all get the job done because the ten of wands is a specific hard work energy it's like you're almost you're almost there you know to whatever it is that you're trying to get to and for some of you this is linked to a job like you know but keep in mind the ten of wands is an ending so you're getting very close to a new passionate beginning because after the ten of wands is the ace of wands so instead of these ten little wands you replace these ten wands with just one huge new beginning that you're equally as passionate about that is way less challenging to carry if that makes sense leo so burdens burdens are, are kind of important here um, I think some of you guys were burdened by by certain things in the first week of June all right and then we move into the second week of June and it's like you're equally working as hard like both of these cards are definitely people who who are just really occupied with hard work endurance per perseverance you know so this might be financial burdens heavy burdens but this is also someone who's putting in a lot of efforts this is somebody who is kind of independent. You see they're working alone. They're doing something um, with their hands to make money. They may be away from home while they're working, though, because that town is kind of far away back there. So I don't know. Um, it's like just be careful of the amount of work that you're doing. Some of you guys work. You're, you're an entrepreneur, okay, because this is these are two people who are literally on their own. Like you, I hear I'm hearing I did it on my own. I did it. I do it by myself, like. So these are financial burdens that you're working on, or it's just something you value. You know, the Eight of Pentacles is a card for someone who's trying to perfect something. So there, there might be something that you could learn um, more about in the second week of June when it comes to whatever it is you're working on. This project, because this is kind of like a project energy too. It's definitely an apprentice energy. So it's like you have more to learn about this job. I don't know if you guys are starting new jobs and... The second week of June, you're going to have to kind of learn more about certain stuff about it, if that makes sense. But either way, hard, hard work, for sure. Doing something with your hands to make money. I mean, you can see this guy, all these pinnacles that are hung up on the wall, he's designed those. He's made them. So someone here works really hard and makes their own money. They have made their own money in life. This is in independence. Some of you just enjoy working alone. Um, this Ten of Wands kind of reminds me of a farming energy or a harvesting energy where there's like a, a bundle of crops or something because there are these this bundle of wands so yeah the, this is the first half of the month this is your first two weeks of june um and this is gemini season here and then we move into cancer season gemini i have not mentioned yet leo is your 11th house of friends and your 11th house of collective energy so no wonder there's so much going on here you know um because collective energy comes in bulk you know it comes in groups of people so hmm there there may be something even important here about friendship here at the the or your community that you live in that's what the 11th house is about now when we move into the second half of the month that's going to be your 12th house of subconscious no wonder there's an underlying energy here of the subconscious realm but first we get to the the third week now i do want to mention here with this card combination the second and third week of may there may be a message here about someone who was wanting to put an effort 
someone here is putting in effort when it comes to a relationship okay for sure this card combination is it's like either you or someone else Leo really doesn't mind putting in the effort working really hard putting in the energy um, in in the time to, to do the work in this relationship but I also feel like someone here works at a distance because the lovers card sometimes talks about two people who are at a distance from each other um, you see that mountain there and in this case the mountain could definitely be the fact that someone is overburdened with pinnacles elsewhere okay because this is my work away from home card and then have the lovers card you guys are definitely some of you listening are separated from your lover in June because of where they work or how much they work or they travel for work someone's traveling or something like that but the lovers here is a Gemini this is the third week of June guys so I don't know if there's gonna be a specific connection the third week of June because um, this is a beautiful card when it comes to relationships a very divine connection for some of you it might be a choice though it might be a choice between two people um, or it might just be a choice that you have to make the third week of June that could potentially affect your relationships okay because this is a love decision whatever that means for you okay um, it's a very very beautiful connection and with the eight of Pentacles right next to it it's like this is a connection that's gonna require a lot of effort and hard work but it's like worth it okay and now this card the the end of June is quite interesting because we do have the page of swords in reverse now, it didn't reverse itself all the way, so for some of you, this may be the Page of Swords right up. I'll just explain it in both ways, because either way, the Page of Swords is a messenger. This is a younger person, and they're probably a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, or they're just, this is a young truth, which means there's a truth coming in at the end of June, or I almost said May. There's a truth coming in at the end of May that is new. It's a very new truth and if it's not that leo this is the card for a spy this is spying energy okay and it's also the card for further investigation the page of swords is always he always is looking for he or she is always looking for more truth he needs to know more so there's something you need to know more about and if you see it here there's something you need to, you want to know more about this connection i don't know if some of you guys are in an online you guys may have developed an online uh, relationship at some point in June and th that means that the communication is from a distance you may be spying on someone to see if they have a third party um, you know you may be spying on two different people because you have this choice to make there is some truth coming in um, maybe from Gemini it might be Gemini season this could be a, a younger Gemini for some of you just for some of you others of you this is literally I think this is a third party spying on you and a person because we have these two people over here who are naked and then we have this page of swords who is who's kind of watching so this could be social media stalking you know some of you may have a stalker all right someone some of you may but I think for the majority of you you guys are just gonna require more information you're gonna there may be some kind of truth that comes in now with the page of swords you always want to remember he's not the king this is not the king of swords this is not even the knight of swords so you be very careful of, about the information that you say or that you hear at the end of June because he it's, it's not it's not that it's not true it's just that it's perceived in a in a young way the page of swords is is very quick to say things he's very quick to think things and you know he's got some growing up to do so um, if you guys are with younger air signs if there's a connection here with a younger Gemini or a younger Li Libra a younger uh, Aquarius you know it's like I don't know the communication has some growing to do and this might be the result of just being a long distance okay but I do feel like there is a lover spy here there's someone here that you have a connection with that may be spying on you you may be spying on them just you know you just need a little bit more information at the end of June for some reason you need more truth and there's definitely truth that comes in with the page of swords now this was kind of coming out reverse, so I don't know if this is a lie. The Page of Swords in reverse is definitely not a very truthful message. Okay, the Page of Swords in reverse is like, it's not a new beginning, because it's like there's there's not a truth that you're finding out if this is in reverse. I do get a lie vibe from the Page of Swords in reverse. You may be told a lie at the end of the month, so just be careful. Use your own discernment, Leo, 
when it comes to this. Um, I don't know. You may you may be the one that's not telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth will help you. Um, yeah, I don't know. If this is happening in a relationship at the end of the month, there just may be some dishonesty to consider, which I don't want you guys to get scared about that, you know, because it could be something small. It, for others of you, it could be something kind of, kind of big. But either way, the truth is important at the end of June. And this is also your truth, Leo. Not just truth with other people and other connections, but, you know, being honest with yourself. Learning more about you, and, and this is clarity as well. And it is a message. You guys are getting some sort of message um, at the end of June. And I'm not so sure if it's true like i am getting a vibe that for some of you there's a there's an exterior person there's a third party um and they may or may not be jealous or something like that in your relationships and what what you're told this is only for some of you what you're told at the end of the month about a specific person i don't feel like it's true whether this is the horse's mouth telling you this it, it, like this could be the the person telling you something about their self that isn't true or this could be someone a third party that's watching you like so I feel like someone might see something on social media and so just be careful if he said she said stuff you know think about it like a courtroom I don't know what that's called it's called like um like I don't know you have to the, as far as witnesses you have to be there you ha I don't know the right word for it legally but it's like if you weren't there to see if you don't have truth if you don't have the fact about it then it's not gonna hold up in court okay because it's like evidence or something like that. I can't think of the word right now. But make sure at the end of the month, when it comes to truth coming in or when it comes to you investigating something, make sure you have all the facts straight. Don't just listen to what people say. You want to investigate, especially when it comes to new people coming into your life with this lover's card. Because the third week of June looks like you guys are definitely... Um, there's some kind of love energy. There's a, definitely a connection. It's very passionate. And there is a choice as well, the third week of June. Okay. Now let's look a little bit um, underneath. Let's look underneath here. Seven of Cups, Queen of Swords, Ten of Cups, and Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Hanged Man. So I want you guys to keep a lookout for Neptune retrograde. This is um, so we have a Pisces here. Neptune retrograde. This is Pisces energy. You guys could be dealing with a Pisces. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay, we'll talk about these cards in a minute because there's there's a wall of defense. Now look at here. This card here, and this card here, same card. Now this is the second time. That we've we've talked about um the walls that are built up you know there's something you're guarding leo it's probably your heart you know just be careful of this wall okay there's something here that you need to see differently with this hangman but let's talk here about the seven of cups this whole reading has something to do with having a lot of options there's somebody around you having a lot of options being overwhelmed emotionally confusing you know you want to pick your poison here leo because not all of these options are going to make you feel the way that you want to feel all these cups are filled with different stuff, so you just want to pick one. You know, it's about picking a cup, getting your mind right, and setting your mind on a goal, and, and just it's what you desire, you know what I mean? This is a specific dream. It's a fantasy. I don't know if some of you guys are fantasizing this month. And then we have the Queen of Swords, which this combination here is, like, very different to me. The Queen of Swords, she would definitely turn her back on emotional confusion. I don't know if there's a person in your life who overwhelms you emotionally. They confuse you emotionally. Um, so you can see this is what's behind this Queen of Swords, this Gemini woman, this Libra woman, this Aquarius woman, or this is a woman who's holding her truth. You know, she has made her mind up. She, this is about making your mind up, Leo, about all these options. That way that you don't have to feel so many different emotions at once. Like you're going to feel this Queen of Swords energy is helping you cut out some of the toxic emotions that you're dealing with. Um, because she's about clarity. This might be a conversation. You know, this is about what you what you think and what you're saying. That's why she's the queen of swords. So she has mastered, you know, her own mind. She is the master of her own mind. Okay, so you may, in order to be the master of your own mind this month, Leo, you may have to, you know, cut through an illusion. Because the seven of cups is also an illusion. Okay, it, it's, it's the illusion. So some of these options... Are actually not real if that makes sense 
okay? So it's about becoming very crystal clear about what needs to be cut out, certain options. It's about your truth, you know, no longer being confused about your truth, especially in regards to a relationship, a happy home environment, emotional fulfillment. Now this queen, her hand is open, meaning she's ready to have this conversation. She's ready to tell the truth or hear the truth. You know, you definitely don't want to lie to this queen of swords. I think this is some of you. I think some of you are dealing you're, you're taking on this energy, basically. So when it comes to a relationship or a home environment, especially if there's children involved, the truth is extremely important. So you want to say what you mean and mean what you say if you're conversating about a, a home environment. Because I do feel that there's, there's, there's more truth. I don't know if there's someone who wants to move in with you. Like someone here has kids and somebody wants to move in and there's kids involved or something like that. And it's like, you really need to know for sure that this is the truth, not... You see, there's a difference here between the way this Page of Swords communicates and the way this Queen of Swords communicates. That's what I meant earlier. Okay, so there's just something, there's something, I don't know if there was a lie and then the truth. Like, this looks like somebody who was confused about a lie and then definitely grounds their self um, with the truth later on. And it's about a home environment. I can see this very clearly, how these cards are lining up. There's going to be a conversation about a home environment or a relationship or children or all of the above. And it's all about moving forward practically. You could be dealing with a Virgo. I do see Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini. I mean, I see lots of different signs here. Pisces, Sagittarius. But, you know, this is about moving a bit slower, Leo, in order to obtain this happiness, this emotional fulfillment. All right. The Knight of Pentacles is very slow. He's slow and practical. But he wins the race because of that. And he actually shows up with... I knew that was going to fall. He actually shows up with what he promised he was going to show up. This is a specific message too, okay? Very slow message. I don't know if some of you guys are waiting on finances to move. Because there could be something stagnant in a home environment that you require more truth about. Okay? It might be a Virgo specifically that you want to question the truth about, Okay? just judging by how this is lined up but yeah this is about moving forward very slowly towards your emotional fulfillment towards a home environment family children relationship stuff this is a an ending you know the whole that you're you're getting close to the ace of cups just like you're getting close to the ace of wands so i do see that there's like you want a new spark of love with someone leo and you want a, a family you know you want to be all together some of you guys are at a distance now, the hangman is a specific sacrifice energy. It's all about, um, you know, sacrificing something in order to learn more. You know, this person here is completely upside down, and that's why he's enlightened. Because he's seeing something in a different way. And, and you're going to need to be patient with yourself. Maybe this is about a Sagittarius. You know, maybe this is about balance. But I think you're going to need patience to see something in a different way. Some of you guys are sacrificing something in order to be patient because we do have a very strong wall built up, okay? Especially with the rigid here, too. That's the second time this has came up. And, you know, it might be talking... Now we have cancer showing up here. This right here, this is about future financial success with the Ten of Pentacles, and it is a home environment. So be very careful of hostility in the home environment or just, you know, guarding something in the home environment. And, and I don't know if this is a car. We have a home and a car here. And then we have the chariot, which is cancer. So, yeah, I think some of you may live with a cancer person. Um, nine of Wands is, you know, it's not only about building up a wall. The Nine of Wands is also about strength and perseverance. Because this person has been through a lot financially. They've been through a lot, period. And they're, they're ready to even go through more. So this person is super strong. I love the Nine of Wands, honestly. But because of the amount of battles this person has gone through, sure, yeah, they're strong. They're a warrior. You don't want to mess with this person. But in because of how much this person has been through, they do build this wall up of protection. They're always on guard. They're always defensive. They're very sensitive. Like, they may even be a little bit egotistical. You know, like, it, it, it's hard to connect with people like that. So if this is you, Leo... Be very mindful that there is someone around you. Good luck. You know, there is one of these options is an option for unconditional love. You know, it's very, very, very beautiful and divine. It's like you know the connection you have with this person because it's different than what you have ever felt with anyone. And they, they may be at a distance, you know what I mean? 
but it's interesting we have Sagittarius and Pisces here because that's bringing up Jupiter energy okay I don't know if some of you guys are going through defensiveness because of of Sagittarius but either way you're being told to stay patient see things in a different different way move forward practically you're gonna be able to move forward practically there is this financial message as well coming in slowly and I think it's gonna result in a happier home environment whatever that might mean it might be you know remodeling a home or straight up just moving um, I do think this is about a relationship moving more slowly because this person has kids um, and I do feel like this is about your truth okay because we have the Queen of Swords here so conversations about the home environment and you know this whole reading has a lot to do with just straight up options you know options that you have you may be feeling a little bit overwhelmed so just to recap this Leo because your reading is kind of short all my other readings are taking like 40 to 50 minutes to record yours is only 35 minutes so far I just see that there are certain burdens this month keep in mind this is cancer season over here and this is Gemini season now we have that cancer back here that that might have been significant for cancer season or moving forward because underneath that we do have the judgment so I think cancer season is a second chance for some of you or it may there may be a cancer that you're you know around and, and they may be from your past there might be a second chance with a cancer but uh, again Gemini is all about your friends it's about your 11th house it's collective but this is hard work like the first two weeks someone is working really hard at a certain situation it might not be a job it could be a relationship it could just be you working really hard at everything your goals your passions okay and then this second week the second half of the month I should say is cancer season which is your 12th house and then after that guess what Leo it's your season so your birthday is about a month away you know so you're preparing for you know all this this new cycle so I do see that I do see certain heaviness you know I think in this case somebody may be a little overburdened with uh, being the sole provider uh, financially you know I don't see anyone else working here so you know there's some some on your own kind of energy coming up here and there's also love you got the lovers card you got the Gemini card some of you may have Gemini energy I do know a few Leos that have Gemini energy so this could even be you this lover but either way, Leo, this is definitely a connection. So keep your heart open. Remember, this is talking about opening your heart. You don't want to block yourself from this because this could be a new person. This could be someone you are, you've you known for a while. But either way, you're going to feel this divine connection. Okay, This is not something that can be mistaken for anything else other than what it is. And it could definitely be a choice between two people. Um, it could be a choice that you have to make um, in a relationship. And there could be a third party. Okay, so keep your eye open for love, relationships, Gemini energy on the third week. And, and remember, this is the summer solstice. This is the full moon in Sagittarius. The full moon in Sagittarius is happening in your fifth house of romance. So keep an eye out for my video about that because I'm going to pull cards about just that full moon um, in a couple weeks. And then, of course, I want to re re um, I want to reiterate this. The truth is very important to tell and to hear at the end of the month, okay? page of swords in reverse i'm gonna post in the comments after your video what the page of swords in reverse actually means so that you guys can get a more logical explanation but i i don't know i'm just getting kind of a, a untruthful vibe remember it's a spy you know so there could be someone who's spying to get truth about you leo or you could be doing that to another person and this all has something to do with options of confusion pisces cancer scorpio energy you do have earth and fire and air but as far as you're reading here, that's why there's no water on the table. There's no cups here on the table. You have fire, you have earth, and you have air, but you don't have water. Because there's an underlying energy of you just being very confused emotionally about all these options. Whatever that might mean, Leo. So, that is your reading for June, guys. Thank you so much for listening. If this resonated and you'd like me to take a look at your personal energy, or you want a personal reading, or if you just have any questions, please look in my description box for any additional information that you might need. So have a happy June. Hopefully you guys have a great Sagittarius full moon and summer solstice. And I hope to see you um, in my Sagittarius full moon video. If I don't see you there, then I will talk to you guys in July. Bye!